Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and I'm indie game developer. Today I want to show you my current game which I'm working on for the mobile devices and also I want to show you my new tutorial which will be available on my channel very soon, so hopefully you will like it. This is the project which I'm currently working on. This is going to be a mobile game, I will release it on the Android and iOS devices. So the name of the game is uh, Run and Jump, I'm not sure about this name yet, but this is like a developing title. So if you have any idea about about better name for this game, let me know in the comments. So as you see, this is a uh, very simple menu. So let's start the game. And I will just briefly show you what this, what this is all about. So as you see, I have uh, small animations here. I have some, some, some turtle running, running in the background. We can select the player. So I'm just implementing the selection of the player. So as you see, we have a few different characters. So you can select whichever li you like. And then once you select it, you're closing this window and you're starting the game. And this game is basically, it's just runner. So there is not much going on in the background, but as you see the, the running animation and the jumping animation is already implemented. And that's it. And then this guy is gonna fall down in a second. And as you see, this is just a simple game. I have, uh, I'm planning to do a few different levels with few different enemies. And uh, as you see, have a, a lot of assets already imported. So recently, I've been working on the on the animation for this game. So I'm storing the player data in the in the scriptable object. So as you see, we have a player, and um, let me just find this data. So I have a game data, and the game data is just holding all of the all of the data for the game for the current uh, current game. So I have a player character one data, which have a lives player icon and the animation. And everything is saved in this file and then pass it over to the to the scene. So I have a current game data which is storing currently the player data, and we just I, I'm just passing different objects based on the selection from the screen. So it's very very intuitive implementation. And let me extend this game if I if I want in a in a future. So that's pretty much it for what I have uh, for this game. This is currently this game is currently in the development stage so it's not much going on yet i will add, add more 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 of the gameplay in uh, in the following week and i'm planning to release this game very soon so the development time is two maybe three weeks and uh, it should be this game should be out so this is the game which i'm working on and then uh, let me show you what 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 the next tutorial will be so i'm just planning to do some some of the puzzle game again if you follow me on the instagram you probably see already this picture from this uh, from this game so this is the game i'm currently working on as well and it's going to be fully released for the tutorial and the source code will be available as well so as you see you can just start, press play and then you can select the letters so i just done the selection i should be deselected as well but i think i've just changed something in the code so basically this game is let you de design your puzzles and then um, and then find the words which you request and uh, this game is going to be very 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 good for the tutorial because it's just uh, introduced some of the different concept like scriptable object and what we can do with it and also we're going to develop the custom editor so as you see i have in my resources i have a data so this is the board for our game and i can change i can design the puzzles in my inspector so let's say we want to add new puzzle to the game i just right click create i can select the board data and then i can specify how many rows and the columns i want to have so let's say 20 by 20. then i can add the word the searching word let's say that i just want to add house or home and then i need to put the home here so okay and this word will be exactly in the same position on the in the game so now you can add as many words as, as you like and then you have to put those words here once you've done you just press to upper to make sure everything is to uppercase and then i can just uh, fill up rest of the field with the random letters so everything is hidden and this is the the exactly the board which player will see so now if i go back to my current game data is actually a game level data i can just click the small dot and then let's select that dot board and then when i press play I can start the game and as you can see the board is already created based what we have defined in the in the editor so i think this is very good and as you see we have our home so 
H O M E, and it just disappeared because we found this word. There is no, I haven't done it this list yet, so below this board, there will be a list of the words. And then once you select this, once you find the word, the selected word will stay in the in the game, but uh, the color of the letters will change. And also the, the word, the requested word will be crossed out. So this is the next tutorial, which is going to come on my channel soon, once I finish this game. And uh, as I said, all of the source code will be available for this. So this this game, I think, might be, might be interesting for some of you. And it's definitely worth to watch because uh, I'm just uh, we're gonna implement a lot of custom editor, so the custom editor will let us to to define all of the structure, everything that I have here without any extension, without any plugin. We're just gonna do it purely in the in the Unity. I hope you like this small devlog. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this kind of uh, videos on my channel. If you like it or not, this is a different 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 format of the video something something different i thought it would be a good idea to actually add some documentary on my channel to just document uh, what i'm doing my 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 games which i'm working on so it might give you some inspiration or any any idea what uh, what's your what, what's your next game will be if you have any suggestion as always leave me comments below this video and i will try to reply so thanks for watching and see you again in the next video